And of course, another aspect of your writing that I just absolutely love is your use of choir. And I and just seeing how you've developed that through your career, especially recently with your concert work, A Prussian Requiem, um, and hearing it in uh, How to Train Your Dragon, of course, The Hidden World, where you really kind of, uh, I mean, beautiful choir work. To you, what's uh, why do you love the human voice as an instrument? And what keeps bringing you back to kind of building that that choir part of your kind of sound? It's a, it's a cheap, a mani uh, tool to manipulate people I think <laughs> it's a it's an instant instant humanity it would yeah. be the way I'd describe it and um, I remember watching when I was younger um, uh, the passion according uh, passion according to St Matthew by Pasolini I think mm. um, which is you know a great I watched it at Easter I was left alone one Easter um, and watched it on TV and it just was very, very, it had a wonderful piece by uh, a gospel singer, um, which was a, a, a famous kind of um, gospel song, folk song that was done with this humming choir and her on top. Uh, and I remember being just absolutely bowled over by the power of that. Um, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's just a, a wonderful sound. I mean, and whether it's a classical choir or a Bulgarian choir, it's it's also to do with tuning as well. Um, choirs are really the only ensembles that can get perfect tuning. They hit the thirds and they hit the fifths in in a way that you know when it's a great choir. They you know the BBC singers. I I did a concert with the BBC singers a few years ago, and they did some pieces, and they were just so in that all the harmonics lined up in a way that you never can at a piano because it's, it's equal temperament and even orchestras can't do it because they're you know the four strings on a violin limit the amount of tuning you know adjustment you can make um you know if if there's a b flat chord and you know you've got an open string D in the middle of it, it's stuck. I mean, obviously you can play the D on another instrument, but if it was say the bottom G, you couldn't change it. Um, so, and everybody sort of can tune, but there's just enough limitation on orchestras even that, that you don't quite ever get that, that harmonic lineup that you can with choirs. So, you know, I, I urge anyone to listen to Bulgarian music because then you will hear Bulgarian women's choirs. You will hear, everything tuned in a way that there's no other way of doing it. There's no equipment, mm -hmm. no synths, no nothing can really do it because it's just they're, they're hearing each other in a way and adjusting their tuning. They have very little vibrato so that every harmonic is, is, is moving against, is moving with and against each other's, every other harmonic in a way that it, it just seems to explode my brain. No, I, I think it's 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 all and my mother used to sing in a choir when I was a kid so maybe it was that I remember mm -hmm. the, the Verdi Requiem as a kid and and then playing in orchestras with a lot of choirs that used to be a gig you could do when you were 15 16 um, uh -huh. a lot of you know Brahms Requiems and um, and uh, Donna Nobis Pachem by Vaughan Williams is one of my favorites as well so. Absolutely. 